Right then guys and girls, today we will be looking at fitting this radiator muff guard which covers all of that. Now I know what you're thinking, saying why on earth are you going to fit one of them? If I show you, so after a week, well not a weekend, uh, a day of off-roading, you see all this muddy water, I mean I've washed this engine since but you see how the fan at the front, as the mud and water comes through there, the fan down here spins around and flicks it all over the engine. And you can see how far it's got, looking at the sound insulation. So that's why it's a good idea to fit uh, a muff guard or a radiator guard. So whenever you go wading through mud or water, the idea is you fold it down, it covers the grill and pushes all the water away and not feeding it through the engine. So this is a brick part one, part number is there, DA2162, radiator muff guard, discovery 2, round hair blank, black. These are about 40 odd pound, um, I picked this up, well it's still brand new but um, the guy was selling it on eBay because it either sold the truck or whatever, but I got it for about 15 pound, including postage, so that was a bargain. Now to fit this, we're going to have to take off. Uh, obviously the headlamp guards then we can get the grill off we'll get the grill off and then we'll take it inside and go to the bench and we'll look at it further uh, but obviously because I've got the grill lamps on as well we'll probably have to cut uh, some holes where the studs go for the uh, headlamp guards but I'll show you that obviously on the bench so give me five minutes I'll whip this grill off and we'll go see you on the bench in a minute I've got the grill off there but I just wanted to show you before I take it inside all the mess from all that muddy water and I also think this fan might be seized as well it's not moving round but look at that later I'll have to power wash all this off later as well but yeah right old mess all the mud in these fins here look that was power washing off yeah the joys of off-roading anyway easily washed off let's take this grill inside right so this is it out of its packaging You'll notice that some studs there. So obviously when you're not using this, you can just roll it up and then press the studs in, it'll stay up. And then when you want to go wading, you just drop it down and just fasten it on the bottom studs. Now unfortunately there's no fitting instructions. So it's probably gonna be guesswork is this, unless I can find something online, which I'll go and have a look now. But can't be that hard, surely. Right, some uh, clips or tabs there, aren't there? Yeah. Let's uh, go online and see if there's any instructions. I think I've got this sussed. So you get these little black clips that uh, slot over the edges of your like so put your bottom ones in first the top ones are a bit tricky you've got to really stretch the material spin it around Tight. That's them ones. Just 
these side ones now. It's gonna be a bugger, isn't it? Yeah. more or less fitted. I don't know about these though. These just will not stretch. There's no way that's going to stretch all the way around there. Same on that side. Let me just go and look at that part number and make sure it's not for the facelift one. Right, I've just looked at the part number and yes, I was right. Yeah. The A2162 is for Discovery Facelift. Now mine's not a facelift, it's a pre-facelift but with facelift dead lights. So that's where I've come a cropper. But anyway, it fits all right apart from these two sides here. So what I might do is take these studs out, drill from the back so I'll get a hole in the leather there. And then this stud should just keep these flaps on this side open. Well, down if you know what I mean. Do not fancy hacking the grill to bits on the side here. You know what I mean? I could. Um, I could cut a slot in there and then pull that round. I don't know. Let me have a look. Okay, so apart from it not fitting around the sides, around there, it's actually okay. Fits nice in the top and the bottom. You can see like these clips just grab it. Now they would pop these studs out for the uh, headlamp guards, just on those two sides. Drilled a five mil hole through the uh, leather. That actually it's that way, isn't it? There you go. That's better. And it actually fits alright, so these studs are all in this on anyway, so you don't really need to try and wrap it round. So yeah, we'll uh get that the car and see what it looks like. But yeah, that should stop all the mud and crap getting through the grill and getting the fan flicking it round into the engine and destroying your alternator amongst other things so we'll get the power wash out, we'll clean all that mud off the uh, front of the car before I fit this and then we'll see what it looks like well, time to clean all this mud off
Uh, so there we go, grill's in. And that's what you're looking at. I haven't put the headlamp guards on yet because I need to take the grill back out and just faff about some stuff in there for now. Uh, but yeah. So obviously when you're wading, that's when it's down. When you're not wading, you just roll it up, clip it onto the uh, buttons there. And away you go, go through some puddles. Uh, but just remember to order the right one. Uh, I think it's DA12163 for the uh, pre first lift grill. I mean, this one still fits, it just doesn't go around the sides. So, anyway. So that's it for this uh, episode. Nice little short video for you. Um, usual stuff, like, subscribe and all that crap. Um, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.